Hello guys and gals, lords and ladies, saints and sinners of every kind. Hope you're having an amazing day and today we're back. Sorry about not having an episode last week, but uh, midterms. Kind of the worst thing in the world besides finals, which I haven't experienced yet. So currently midterms, pretty hard, pretty awful. And I'm not looking forward to next year's min or next semester's midterms. I have two a year. <sighs> Anyways guys, this is going to be a really awesome episode in which we are going to tackle an awesome topic because I didn't get to do an episode last week. This one is a doubly awesome episode. I'm not doing peace signs. I'm just doing like double, two times the awesome. Yeah. It's going to be really cool guys. We're going to talk about a virtue that is uh, controversial might not be the best word, but controversial could be the best word. I don't know. Basically, we're talking about humility. Humility in the proper sense, because a lot of times we don't understand what humility is. See, a couple years ago, I decided that I was going to give up talking about myself for Lent. Um, and that's actually, turns out, that's not humility. Because I'm try I was trying to cultivate, like, what is this idea of humility? What does it really mean to be humble? And... I've realized something, and it's not like I have realized something. I've learned this great knowledge I shall pass upon you. Now, I, know, I realized something, because somebody actually told me, Connor, you're an idiot, this is what humility is, and I'm like, oh, hey, smart. Humility isn't degrading yourself. Humility is instead taking who you are and understanding who you are in light of who, how God sees you, right? So. We as humans, we have all of these good and bad things about us, right? We have things we're good at and things we're not good at. And those things we're not good at, we should admit them. And the things that we are good at, we should admit them as well. We don't need to be vainglorious about it, saying, Oh, look at this. I have done all of these great things. Honor me. You know, what we want as someone who is humble, you don't say, Okay, hey, I don't deserve any of this stuff. Woe is me, blah, blah, blah. You also don't say... I am super amazingly awesome. Remember a couple of weeks ago how we were talking about um, the middle ground and finding the middle ground. If you don't remember that, right there. Um, but that whole thing about the middle ground is important because humility falls in between two categories, right? It falls in between pride on one hand, which is thinking that you're better than or your activities are greater than that of other people and self-depreciation and this is where a lot of people get mixed up because self-depreciation basically putting yourself down is actually a false form of humility it's actually a form of pride for example if someone comes up to you and says hey you play guitar really well and you say oh no i don't that's a form of pride it's a false sense of humility that's not a real sense of humility humility would be saying oh thank you because you're saying, yeah, God gave me this gift and I'm thankful for it. How is that wrong? Acknowledging a gift that God has given you is in no way, shape, or form wrong. It's not sinful in any way, shape, or form. This is good. This is what humility is. If someone can, says, you did really good at that, say thank you. Because God has given you a gift to be able to do something and they're noticing, hey, wow, you did really good at something. You say, yeah, thank you. You don't need to say, huh, thank the Lord he gave me that gift because that's dumb. Okay, but just by saying thank you, you're acknowledging that God gave you said gift. And that's really amazing. That's what humility is. On the other side, if someone, you know, if someone says, hey, you're not good at, you know, jokingly or in whatever context, um, someone says you're not good at something that you know you're not good at, agree. Be like, yeah, I'm not really that good at that. What's wrong with that either? There's nothing wrong with saying you're not good at something you're not good at. That's called truthfulness. So we're not supposed to be untruthful and we're not supposed to be um overly you know de depreciating ourselves saying oh no nah, i don't i'm actually not that great it's something you really are good at instead you're supposed to acknowledge the gift god gives you and remember where you fail we're putting this into one sentence humility is an understanding of your place in the universe your place constitutes all of who you are who so the question is who are you who are you because if i'm if i may if i may and we're gonna ask this question, who are you? Then I have to beg the question, what do you do? What are you good at? What are you bad at? And once we ask that question, we can see who we actually are. And once you see who you actually are, then you can understand your place in the universe. And once you understand your place in the universe and in the world, then you can be humble. Humility is recognizing your place in the world. To do so, you must recognize what you're good at, what you're bad at. You must recognize your flaws and your 
achievements, accomplishments. You need to recognize everything. And once you do that, that is when you're humble. You're humble when you understand your place before God, your place in the world. I'm not saying, okay, I know what I'm going to do as a major, that I know what I'm going to do after college, but understanding who you are in relation to that God, who God knows you. Because remember, God is probably the only person who knows you better than you know you, um, because other people can't know you as well as you know you. It's just not possible. They aren't in your head. And you probably sometimes don't know what you actually are, because a lot of times you have all these thoughts going in your head that are not from you, you know? They're the devil just trying to be mean and insert thoughts in your brain that you don't actually believe. Or saying, man, I really do think about this, when in reality you're not thinking like that at all. So God's the only person who can know you better than you know yourself. And by understanding where you are in relation to this person who knows you better, that is humility. Understanding your goods, your bads, and acknowledging them and saying, yeah, this is actually who I am, and there's nothing wrong with that. I can be proud of who I am. Because there's a certain sense of pride that's fine. You should be proud of your accomplishments, but you shouldn't be overly boasting about them. Pride is fine, boasting is not that great. Nobody likes a boaster. So again, tie it all up in one sentence. Humility is understanding your place before God. Understanding who you are. It's pretty simple, it's not that hard, guys. There's humility. So how are you humble? Recognize who you are. Let's say you're striving to become more humble. Recognize who you are. Recognize your goods and your bads. Recognize who you are. Not, oh, who am I? Oh, I am a beloved child of God. Granted, that's true, but recognize who you are. Recognize the individuality of yourself and what that entails. And because of that, when you know that, and you remember not to have that false sense of pride, by either saying, oh yeah, I'm actually not good at something I'm good at, or by completely um, boasting about it, then you are striving towards humility. Kudos. Striving towards humility is hard. It's something that I'm working on. It's something I think everyone has to work on, but it's really important to be able to strive towards it. So if you've ever heard someone say, oh man, you really should be more humble, or if you know somebody who needs to understand what it really means to be humble, share this video with them. Shameless plug, I know, but it's, it's so important because humility, once you understand exactly who you are in place of God's cold creation, everything just makes more sense. So thank you for watching this episode of Rise of Jerusalem. Again, I apologize for last week's not episode being there. School is crazy, guys. Let me tell you, school is crazy. If you want me to talk about school or if you want me to talk about any other topic at all, leave a comment down below, please. Let me know what you want me to talk about. It's much easier when I don't have to think of things to talk about when you actually tell me, hey, I want to learn about this. Please, it helps me a lot more. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch an episode on Hillary Clinton and the WikiLeaks scandal from a couple weeks ago, click right up there. And if you don't want to watch that, it's probably for the best. It probably wasn't that funny anyways. Even though like a couple, 115, 120 people have clicked on it. Still, it's just clickbait. Let's be perfectly honest. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to bed because I'm extremely tired. Stay humble. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. 